While there's no doubt that GarageBand on Mac is first and foremost an audio-focused program, it does allow you to import and, to a certain extent, edit movie clips as well. In this quick tip, I'll show you how. There are a couple of ways you can get your movie file into GarageBand. For this tip, I'm going to use the Media Browser. You can open the browser by clicking this button in the top right corner of GarageBand's workspace. In the Media Browser, you can choose between audio files and movie files. We want a movie file. Now, you can pull movie files in from several locations. From your Photos app, Photo Booth, your iTunes library, or from your Movies folder. The clip I want to bring in is in my movies folder. To bring it into the workspace, I just need to drag and drop it. Dragging and dropping the movie file opens GarageBand's movie track and gives you a preview of your imported movie too. Why would you lift kettlebells on a rock barefoot? I just don't understand. Anyway, I grabbed this stock footage from Pexels.com. They have a huge selection of royalty-free stock footage that you can download for free. Really useful for music videos and stuff like that. I'll put a link to them in the description below. That's not a sponsored plug or anything like that, just a useful tool that you might want to check out. You can minimise the preview window by clicking the button in the top left, and you can bring it back again by clicking on the thumbnail in the Movie Tracks header. Once your movie file is imported, you can add music to the tracks beneath it. I'll add a nice laid-back loop and a drummer track to this. And I'll resize these regions using the loop function to match the length of the movie clip. Here's how it sounds all together. Actually, sounds pretty good. Once you're done, head to File in the toolbar, hover over Movie, and select Export Audio to Movie. In the box that pops up, you'll be able to name your exported movie, choose where it exports to, and change the quality of the exported movie file. Hit Save when you're done, and once exported, your movie will be available to play. That'll about do it for this quick tip. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com. Bye for now. <laughs>